Welcome to this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to configure and install the cup parser generator. So let's get started. So here I have two URLs where you can download uh, the cup parser generator from. The first one is for the official website of cup. Now, as you know, cup is written entirely in Java, which means that cup binaries come as .jar files. If you are familiar with the Java command line tools, then I encourage you to download cup from here. However, if you are not very familiar with the Java command line tools, then I have packaged together a number of shell scripts that enable you to work with Cup. So this is the one that I will be using to download Cup from. So copy this URL, go to your browser, and just paste the URL here. And from here, go to clone or download, and then download it. Save it in the desktop and then go to your desktop and you will find one file called cubmaster.zip right click here choose 7zip and then extract to cubmaster just open this folder and this is going to show you the folder structure for this uh, for the for cubmaster you will find three key folders one is called bin this one contains two shell scripts one that you will be using if you are working under uh, under under windows and the other one is if you are working under a uh, linux environment the other one contains uh, the uh, jar folders or jar files uh, for cup so you have the normal jar file which is basically used for compiling your uh, cup specification files and the other one you will be including as a library in your Java projects. And then uh, under source, you will find one example for a cup specification that I will be using to test my installation. So close this folder and then rename it to some friendly name. So call it cup and cut this folder and just baste it in the installation location so uh, in my case I will install it in my D drive you can install it in anywhere you want so paste it here and then I'll make some modification to one of the files here so go to cup and then click in bin and just edit the uh, batch file so uh, I'll use sublime text to edit it so make sure that the cup underscore home variable matches or the bath under cup underscore home matches the bath where you have placed your uh, cup folder and this is D I'll just rename this to the appropriate case so it is cup. okay now save this file and I'm done from this the next thing that I want to do I want to make sure that I configure the path environment variables so I recognize this cup uh, path file so go to the start menu and type uh, inv and then click on edit environment variables of your account and here I'll create a new environment variable I'll call this environment variable cup underscore home and just paste the path where you have put the cup folder in so this is the home for cup and click OK the next thing I want to modify the path environment variable so select path and then edit uh, now type new or click in new and type percent sign uh, cup underscore home percent sign and then slash pin uh, just make sure that you use the correct notation and that's it I'm done this is cup now installed in my uh, or configured uh, to be run through the command line just to test it uh, let's go back to the D drive so and go to source cup example and cup parser let's just copy this one 
and I'll paste it. I'll create a new folder in the desktop. I'll call it test. Now paste this file here and run the command line. So type cmd and in the command line change to desktop. So cd to desktop and then cd test. Okay. Just make sure that you have the file there. So I have parser.cup. Now in order to compile it, all what you have to do, just type cup and then parser.cup and hit enter. Now if things are done correctly, this should compile the cup specification file. And when you compile cup specification file, usually there are two files that ge gets generated. The first one is called parser.java and the second one is called sim.java. Parser.java, this is your parser code. So this is the code that has been generated from the grammar which is specified in parser cup. So let's just look at this parser cup. So this is what you write in, in cup specification file. You write a context free grammar uh, along with some other rules. And we'll talk about this uh, in a later video. And uh, this thing gets compiled into two files parser.java and sim.java. Sim.java is nothing but uh, the tokens or codes for tokens that you use in your grammar. So uh, these are the tokens that are used inside my grammar, which is specified in parser.com. So uh, that's how you uh, configure and install the cup parser generator. And in a later video, I will show you how to work with the uh, cup parser uh, file and or parser specification file. And how do you run all of this using uh, NetBeans? Okay, happy, uh, happy copying. Thank you.